guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome and if you are a thin subscriber what's up so by the title of this video you guys already kind of have an idea of what is going on but basically this video is super random i wanted to film something random and i didn't have like a big idea in mind so i just thought i'm just going to sit in front of the camera talk to you guys try out some new makeup and have some fun so i hope you enjoyed this video if you do enjoy it please make sure to give it a thumbs up it helps me out a lot and let me know what type of content you guys want to see from me also if you have any requests on videos or ideas you can definitely leave them in the comment section down below or you can contact me on my social media and we can chat i will leave them on the screen so you guys can see but without further ado let's get straight into the video okay so i'm going to start off with my eyebrows because you know they don't look great so i bought this new um what is it soap brow styler i feel like they try to make it a dupe for the soap brow thing um i don't have that one so i cannot compare it to that one but i feel like it is definitely like a dupe for it because if you even see on the packaging it looks the same kind of so yeah so once you open it up you get the actual product it looks like this and you get a spoolie the product inside looks like ooh, oh my god this is oh okay so it's clear it looks like this i don't know what that little circle is it also smells like anything which is great because i don't want my eyebrows to have like a specific smell so just don't smell like anything so i guess i'm just going to use a little bit and try to comb up my eyebrows and then i will go in and fill them in i don't know does this bend yeah because i'm trying to yeah because if not how would i be able to get the product out let me show you guys what it looks like it doesn't look like it's grabbing anything i don't know let's try it what is this dry <gasps> i'm stupid i think i have to put water on this right wait dampen the brow brush with water <sighs> swipe across the soap and coat the bristles with product okay i don't have water right now so let's just use this i have my mori Badescu, uh facial spray so i'm going to use that to dampen the brush I think it's damp. Okay. And oh, now it's getting ah! Oh my god! I was about to bash the product for nothing. Okay, so now I actually grabbed something, and I'm going to use it to coat. Oh no! Is it doing anything? I feel like I need some more. Wait. I feel like it's leaving like white parts of the soap in my eyebrow and I'm not here for it at all. I mean, you can definitely see a difference. Do you guys see a difference? I mean, it definitely did make them like give them that laminated type of look. Kind of, not really, but kind of. But I feel like, let me dampen this again. I normally use hair wax to do this, so I'm comparing it to that and I don't feel like this is that great because when I use my hair wax to do this, I feel like it holds super hard. So it's like, I know for a fact, like my eyebrows will not move during the day or the hairs at least, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like with this, I don't feel like it's holding that hard, if that makes sense. Like the hold isn't giving me like the maximum hold that I'm looking for. Or maybe I'm just doing it wrong. If you guys have tried this, please let me know. Maybe I'm using it wrong. Like it feel, I feel like it's leaving a... Oh my god, I'm sorry guys. Mia is just taking a nap in the back. Yeah she's living her best life period it, they feel tacky i don't really like that all that much but i feel like maybe i should let them dry in the meantime while i let them dry i'm going to show you guys what i got in this box 
so the products that i got in this box i actually got them in pr i didn't buy them i didn't pay for them i got them for free and let's open this up the products came in the box like this i'm going to take everything out and show you guys individually what they are but i don't know the prices and stuff but i will leave everything on the screen if i can find them on the instagram so the first box oh and it has my name that is so cute hillary okay it's cute so this is the first box and it says beauty by sure uh so cute and when you open it up it looks like this so as you guys can see it's two lashes each of them come with a spoolie which i like and it has a sticker thank you for supporting my small business so cute um this one is in the style monarch it looks like this and then this one is in the style brown tail looks like this also if the lighting keeps changing it's because i'm sitting in front of my window because there's so much light today and i wanted to film at my desk like i normally do but because there's so much light coming in from this window when i film at my when i tried filming at my desk it was super dark so i would get a lot of shadows on my face and i don't want that so the background is a little messy but you know and this is the cap i think oh yes this is so cute so this one says again beauty by sure and it's in this gold color and the sprint it this feels so silky and nice and of course it has elastic in it if you don't know what this is it's like a sleeping cap and i've been needing one of these because i sleep with my hair loose because otherwise i get a headache and i sleep on my hair and then i pull it so it's like when i wake up i have hair in the bed and it's like a lot of stuff and i'd be pulling on my hair so no so this is so cute and i cannot wait to try that out because you know i didn't need one and when she told me she was gonna send me one i was like yes girl the next box is the same as the first one um again with my name on the side and when you open it up it has lashes again and it has two cards let's see so the first one is just beauty by sure and then the second one says thank you for your order so this is a thank you card so cute and then i got a lash applicator looks like this with a sticker on it and then i got a don't know what this is i don't know if it's like a glue pen type thing or if it's an eyeliner but we will see then i also got this i feel like this is a hair wrap i'm not sure you guys know i'm not the best i also got these three lashes the first one is this one and it's in the style mufasa then i also got the one that is called baddie it's this one and i also got pop which is this one then i also got this bag of brushes this these are the brushes that came inside with a sticker on it once again and then the last thing that came in this box is this uh eyeshadow palette um came like this so beautiful and it's called color your world why did i pronounce it like that color your world it's called call your world super cute mia is right next to me it's so cute let me take this plastic off so you guys can properly see so this is what the colors inside look like so so vibrant and beautiful i cannot wait to try these uh, on my eyes so of course we're going to use some of them today i don't think i'm going to use like the greens and blues and stuff because i'm not going anywhere but i will definitely swatch some for you guys and put pictures on the screen so anyways i feel like my eyebrows are as dry as they're gonna get so i'm just going to go ahead and try to fill them in using the only eyebrow pencil that i ever used which is this maybelline brow temptation in um 305 soft brown okay so eyebrows are done this is as good as it's gonna get i feel like the um soap brow styler from essence kind of made it a little bit easier to fill in but i don't know i have the feeling that they are a little thick today i don't know if it's me or if it's the 
the so brow styler thing but i feel like they're on the thicker side so let me just put makeup on my eyes so i don't look dead inside um, I'm going to also try out this Essence Mascara. It's the Lash Princess Powerful Pink and Proud. Oh, it's from the same line, Pink and Proud. Okay, so this is the mascara that I'm gonna use. Um, and I wanna try it out. Why are people yelling outside of my window? Chill. Okay, so um, I don't have the best eyelashes because they're super long, but they're downward, so yeah you guys need to bear with me on that okay so now i'm going to apply my lashes i just applied my mascara and this is what it looks like um i'm going to use the lash tweezers to do this and i'm going to use this lash it is the one in style baddie let me open it up so you guys can see what it actually looks like from the inside wait i can't open it up how does this open yeah Okay, so this is what it looks like from the inside. So pretty. And I feel like it would look natural but still cute because I feel like the other two, like these two, are a little bit too long for right now because I'm not going anywhere. And the other two are a little bit shorter, but I feel like I like this one the most. So I want to see what it looks like. I don't know what this is exactly. Um, it is a felt tip but I feel like it could be a glue and a liner but I think it's just an eyeliner I did a swatch right here on my arm to see if it's sticky and it's not sticky so I don't think it's a glue I think it's just um, an eyeliner so I will do that after I apply my lashes I put lash glue on one of the eyelashes and I'm letting it dry so let's see if it's dry now dry enough where it's where it's sticky and tacky and that it can fit on my eye i don't really like putting on fake eyelashes because i'm not good at it okay so this is what the lashes look like um they are a little bit more dramatic than i thought but it's okay um they're super fluffy that i should say I'm thinking about putting something in my inner corner. I normally don't do that anymore, but I feel like, I don't know, I wanna do that. So I'm thinking one of these brushes, not this one because it's big, wait, you guys can't even see it. Not this one because it's big, but like one of the, one of the smaller brushes, maybe I can, not this one. One of these, I wanna use this one. Okay, so I'm going to grab the eyeshadow palette because I didn't put any eyeshadow, but I still want to put something in my inner corner. I feel like that one would look good. Let's see. Let me swatch it first on my on my arm. Oh, it's... Oh, so this is what it looks like. And this is what it looks like on my arm. It's really glittery. Like it has a lot of glitter in it so you will get fallout so if you don't like that keep that in mind it's also really reflective so mia is going crazy in the back girl chill uh, but this is what this one looks like let me swatch a couple more shades to show you guys so this is the uh, green one that is under the white one this is what it looks like i feel like these don't have a lot of pigment because they're just glitter so what they what you could do with these is like put on a green eyeshadow like a matte green eyeshadow for example you could use this green eyeshadow which is matte and then put the green the glitter green on top because if you apply this on its own it's just gonna be the glitter like it doesn't have any any actual pigments in it so let me try the matte one to see like what it looks like So this is what the green one looks like. And let me try this red one. I love red eyeshadow. This is what that one looks like. They are a little bit light, but you can definitely build them up because you guys can see it gets darker. And let me apply this, mm, this pink one. Let's try a pink one that matches my nails. And see what I want looks like. This is what it looks like on my finger. Ooh, that is so nice. I swatched it incorrectly, but that is so nice. 
Like that is so bright. That is the first color in the palette. That is so bright. And it matches my nails. Oh my god, yes! It's so cute. Okay, um, I don't have any fingers left. So, Ooh. okay, so I'm gonna swatch a couple more. Um, this one is a purple one. It is matte also. Let's put it right here. This is a really nice shade. That is so buttery and smooth. Oh my god, I love it. So far, I really like the mattes a lot. They do have a lot of pigment, like really a lot of pigment. Um, let's try this one. This one is a glittery blue, but it's not as glittery as the other ones. So it's more of a, oh, you can actually see that. Like it's more of a chromey type of color. It's not as glittery and I like that. It's such a beautiful shade. And let me do a last swatch, final swatch. Okay, so I'm going to do a final swatch and I'm just going to swatch this blue. Ooh, so pretty. This is so pretty. So these are just a couple of the shades. Like I said, these two are the shimmers and or are the glitters actually, not shimmers, they're glitters. So that is why they look like that. Like, for example, this is the green one. It is so, so pretty. I said I wasn't gonna swatch any anymore, but let's put this one right here. Oh, it's so pretty. Like, can you imagine this green in the summer with a matte green on, underneath it and this one on top? Like, that is so pretty. Like, that is so pretty. Okay, so I'm definitely going to be using this palette in the summer to create some fun summer looks because, you know, oh, I've... I've not been putting eyeshadow on for like the longest time. You guys probably noticed I don't put eyeshadow on that much anymore. But um, yeah, this, these are the swatches and I'm in love with the quality. I am. Okay, so one of the last steps is I'm going to take this lip product off because I want to try one of these lip pencils. I got three new lip pencils and I want to try them out and see what they look like. And I also got two new lip products. They're not lip glosses. The first one is a Lip Care Booster Lip Serum by Essence. And it looks like this. I actually tried this yesterday when I went to bed. And I don't know if I really like it or not. And this one I haven't tried. It is called the Essence Lip Care Booster Lip Butter. So this one is a lip serum and this one is a lip butter. And it looks like this. It says 10% coconut oil. Repairs, nourishes, and plumps. I don't know about that. But I'm going to take this off to put on my lip liner. Okay, so now that my lips are bare, I have three new lip liners to try out. They are all by Essence, but they're not the same because these two are from the Soft and Precise line these two shades and this one is by the stay eight hour lip liner waterproof i feel like this one is the one that i'm gonna like i'm not sure why do they have this tape on them oh this is so annoying okay so i'm going to start off by swatching this one it is the essence stay eight hour lip liner it has a sharpener at the end this is a sharpener so you can sharpen your pencil on the go super easy and convenient travel friendly we love that. It says that it's waterproof also, and this one is in the shade 01. Curious. Don't know what why that's not focusing, but so yeah. Let's ignore the drunk men outside of my house that are yelling. Okay, so this is oh, this is so buttery. Ah, I like this one already. Ah, I like this one already. Okay, so this is the first one. Uh, and it's shade 01 curious i love it this one is also kind of a pinky nude type color it says um this is the shade 102 true me um and this is what it looks like totally different formula totally but a really nice shade though it's more on the pinky reddish undertone side as to where this one is more of a neutral to brown undertone. And this is a red, I think. I got it because the color screamed my name and I wanted it. It's in the shade 106 Late Night. 
so let's put that one right here yeah it's a red all of them seem really good quality but i feel like for right now i don't want a red lip i feel like the middle one is is the one that i'm gonna want to try right now but first let me try this lip butter and see what it's all about wait tape again these people were packaging this stuff and it's sealed too wait do y'all see mia in the back though she really is minding her business so cute okay so this is what it looks like let me put a little bit on my hand to show you guys what it looks like oh this is so thick i love it no you're kidding okay i already love this without even trying it on i have it right there because yesterday like i said i tried this before i went to bed um this lip serum and it was kind of on the thinner side i don't really like that because when i go to bed i like to like really pack on um some heavy lip balm or lip care product on my lips just because i want them to stay moisturized during the night and i don't want my lips to be chapped and I thought this one was going to be a little bit thicker, kind of like a lip gloss consistency, but it wasn't. So it's like, okay, let me just show you guys what it looks like because I'm not going to try it out right now. But this is what it looks like. It doesn't have a dovelet applicator. It just has that little thingy. And this is what it looks like. It's more on the thinner side. So I was like, hmm, okay, whatever. But this one is so thick like really so thick it really is a butter oh my god i love it okay so i feel like if i apply it and then put my lip liner on it would smudge all over the place so what should i do let me just put it on and see okay so i don't really like that i have to use my hands to apply this because i don't like putting my hands on my lips but you know you gotta do what you gotta do oh this is so thick that was way too much product okay this feels really nice oh it smells like coconuts ah i love this one okay so i will definitely put prices and stuff on the screen but I like this one. I don't really care for the lip serum, but this one, go get it. And it was super inexpensive. I think this was like three euros max, I think. I don't know. So, okay, let's try to put this on. And then I will put a lip gloss on. The lip gloss that I'm going to be using is this one. You guys have seen me use this in a video before. This is also from... Um, the owner from this company is also from Curacao or is she from Aruba? I'm not sure but she's either from Curacao or from Aruba and she sent me this in PR and I loved it ever since and I can't stop using it as you guys can see I'm almost finished it is such a good formula this and I love that the dovelet applicator is so big too like yes give it to me like when you compare this to the lip booster thing from Essence like do you guys see the difference like how small that one is like oh my god but anyway girls if you're watching um your product is bomb like i said this is from baby cosmetics and this is in the shade purple love it doesn't have a tint it says purple love but it doesn't have a tint it's just clear which i like you see the shimmers in there but on your lips they don't translate which i also like because i don't like the shimmer lip thing not for me so yeah let me apply this liner because i'm talking so damn much Okay, so this is what the lip liner looks like. I feel like it's so natural, so me, because I don't like dark lip liners or lip liners that don't seem natural. So this is perfect. And like I said, I'm going to apply in Purple Love by Baby Cosmetics on top. Just a little bit. 
cute let me just do my hair real quick because i just washed my hair and i didn't put anything in it so this is what my hair looks like when it's like air drying because that's what it's doing air drying and i don't put anything in it i don't really have curls so this is what it looks like i wish i had though i wish i had like big curly hair like yes luscious but i don't i don't and my mom has really curly hair so i don't know what went wrong you know but yeah my hair is more like my dad's hair which is sad because you know i would have loved like some big curly luscious hair you know but anyways so um i'm going to apply this in my hair although i don't have curls you guys know i'm not the best when it comes to hair products and i don't really know what to use in my hair so i just use random things um i'm going to use this garnier curl nourish leave-in treatment air dry butter cream you guys have seen me use this before too does this give my hair curls a little bit a little bit not really tight curls but i mean it kind of looks a little curly wavy so that is the best that i can hope for in any product because i've never used a product that gave me curls and my hair is really like most of the products that are like supposed to like curl definer curl maker curl whatever uh they are kind of heavy and they weigh my hair down which causes my curls to not stay like i could have curls for about 30 minutes and that's it like that's max at the end of the day my hair would be so straight and so weird looking like ugh, i hate it so yeah my hair type is really weird but i have a hair care video coming soon so if you guys are interested in that that will be coming soon because i am ordering a lot of new products because i've been seeing a lot of people on tiktok like recommend products that they say like are so good so i'm like oh, okay bet like i'm gonna buy it because you know i don't really have a lot of knowledge about hair care products and i've asked a couple of times on instagram like what do you guys think i should use like do you have the same hair type as me what can i use to get curls and all of you guys recommend like products that say like that are products that are like for heat damaged hair and one thing that my hair is not is heat damaged i never put heat on my hair like ever so my hair is not heat damaged I didn't have curls as a kid and now they vanished because I put too much heat. I just never had curls. Like this is the curliest my hair has ever been, which is not curly. You get what I'm saying? So yeah. Okay, so this is what my hair looks like after I put this in it and I did my... Mia, chill. This is what my hair looks like. She has zero respect, like for real. She doesn't care about what I say, like she... Let's ignore that. So this is what my hair looks like at the end. Um, I need a haircut. And I wanna dye my hair black too because I feel like it's kind of like a combination of black and brown and that's not the vibe at all. But this is what it looks like right now. And for now, it's okay. So yeah. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I know this video was a little random, but I didn't know what to film and I wanted to film something for you guys while incorporating the products that Beauty by Sure sent me. And I know I'm not going anywhere. So I was like, what should I film? So that's why at the beginning of the video, I already had my foundation and stuff on because I didn't have like new foundation and stuff to try out. So I used everything that I already had and then i wanted to try out the new products that i had so those are the things that i didn't put on before starting to film so my eyebrows and all of that but basically this is the finished look super basic but i'm basic so so yeah guys definitely check out beauty by sure i will leave all her contact info on the screen company name instagram facebook all that 
and you guys can definitely check them out i didn't try out the hair wrap because of course i don't i can't do that right now but i will try it out in an upcoming video which i cannot tell you guys yet what it's about but it will be super exciting so i will definitely keep you guys posted um on that but yeah if you enjoyed this video please make sure to give me a big thumbs up also subscribe to my channel for more videos every single week also make sure that you follow me on my social media platforms instagram snapchat tiktok i will leave them on the screen and yeah that's about it i will see you guys in my next video bye